the graduation breakfast right now. Um, did I pack my lip stuff? So we have graduation breakfast and then we're doing a double feature, a double header for breakfast with a bunch of our friends at this really fun brunch spot. This is Vlogmas Day 15. It's the 15th of December. Does everybody know like the hotel waffle maker? Where you can like make it like right there. And, like you just loved it as a kid. It's like the only thing you wanted. How do you turn this down? We're in this rental car. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, good. We're in this rental car that we got last night. And we also probably got like well four hours of sleep. You got more yeah. more. It, yeah. Either way, I've never driven a Mazda before. And I yeah, this know, is. I don't know what year this is, but the design for the like interface for all of your controls are just not very intuitive. I think they were going for sleekness, but okay. we it took like ten minutes for us to try to figure out like how to turn like the radio on last night after we got the car. But our flight was delayed two more times, or no? I guess one more time after the initial time. Um, and we weren't sure if we were going to make our next one. And then I really wasn't sure if my luggage was going to make it on. Um, but I wasn't too concerned because Mike told me to pack all my important stuff in a carry-on. But everything made it. I was kind of shocked. I don't know how they did that fast because it wasn't even in the same terminal. Um, it was like on the other side of the airport. Like, I had my Birkenstock like um boston dupes on and i usually wear those to airports because i just like slide them on and off when i'm going through um tsa but mike made me or mike bought me <laughs> tsa pre-check i didn't really want it but he was like i'm gonna travel with you you need to have tsa pre-check and i was like okay whatever um so you don't you didn't have to like take your shoes off or anything um or like take your stuff out of your bag so I wasn't I wasn't prepared I also wasn't really prepared to run through the airport but you could have been really it was just the choice of footwear is the only thing that held you back oh I didn't show up I don't think I did these are my new shoes these are my new shoes that Mike bought me is this my Christmas present one of them oh <laughs> um off revolve I've been looking at these for, well, you only know that I was looking at these for the last few days, but for a couple months. And I'm so glad I have them, but I need to break them in. Grapes. So I guess my thought was- if We have brow appointments with Nori and I'll get more um, future gel. Yes, I have a- Put your seatbelt on. Oh, is that what? <laughs> you can go out and turn right. Try, they close up. Yeah, they, they <laughs> certainly did. Who would have thought your adventure turned into a forever stay? And I've been thinking a lot, and I've been drinking myself down the drain. Not 
Mike and I just checked into a hotel for the night. Um, I also can't, like, this dress is off the shoulder and I can't, like, lift my arm. Don't my vlog camera. My feet hurt so bad. I love those saying at home. She did it. <laughs> You're going to say something dumb. I'm not dumb. I didn't say you were. I, I said... Can you grab my foot? I was going to say something dumb. Yeah, can you grab my feet? <laughs> People anxiously, not once did speak to me When tides came, did not flee I looked like I had the roughest of nights last night, like celebrating my graduation. I didn't have a lick of alcohol all day. I'm just so tired. We did go out last night. Um, it was actually very fun. I need to lay down. Hold on. It was actually very fun. We went to armory in st louis it's basically like a giant adult arcade um and my parents came with us which was very fun and so we played like duck pit and bowling and like ski ball and like stuff like that and a bunch of my friends came and then whoa and we also went to another bar after just to like chat with friends it was quieter went to bed at like one o'clock 1 30 but i just have not been sleeping for the last few days mike left to go to the airport and then i'm i think i mentioned this before but i'm staying in missouri and then we're going on like a little girl's trip so lee allison is supposed to pick me up from my hotel checkout is in like a half hour i think and i'm still just like i'm not packed I'm basically in pajamas and I don't know what this vlog is. I feel like sometimes I talk too much to the camera and it's just like a 15 or 20 minute video of me just like talking about stuff and then other times I have too much b-roll and not enough talking and I feel like that is what this is. There's just like no context. It was just like random clips from Friday and Saturday but I just didn't have like a moment to do this because I was like with people and we were out and it was loud and all that stuff but I'm officially Dr. Olivia Horner that's so weird to say there's a lot of patients that I had um and they were like oh you're you know like that would call me doctor and I always corrected them I was like I'm not a doctor few more weeks whatever and now I can't correct anyone I'm Dr. Olivia Horner <laughs> it's just very weird I'm like about to have this serious conversation laying in my bed with no makeup on in my pajamas but it's just very weird um because I'm not like a smart kid like in high school there were so many kids that were smarter than me and I tried so hard and I just like 
never like met the mark kind of thing. Um, like I didn't score well on my ACTs and I never got like straight A's or anything like that. It was always like such a struggle. Um, and when I decided I wanted to like pursue healthcare, um, I like, it always felt weird to me to know that like, I'm trying to be a doctor. Like I never thought I was smart enough for that. And, and not to like lessen the achievement and the, what a big deal it is to be like a doctor. Um, but it's really not how smart you are. Um, it's really just persistence and like how much you care. Yeah, I am just, I have, <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> I just thought about what I was gonna say and then it made me emotional. Don't, okay. But I've just like thought about doing this since I was like a sophomore in high school. Um, and this has been the goal. And now I've like, achieved all the things I need to achieve in order to be called a doctor. So it's just like kind of strange to work towards like one thing for several, several years and it's, it's done. <sighs> so now what? I don't know. I'm just laying by myself in this hotel room. I really need to pack though. <sighs> I think I'm gonna edit together whatever this vlog is. It might just be a bunch of like random b-roll clips and This is it at the end, but I'm gonna end it off and I'm gonna start a Like a girl trip vlog. I don't know if and I have been um, like combining some of the vlogmas days just because It's been busy and I don't have like all the time in the world to edit everything and some days are just shorter than others like content wise so I might do just like one girl's trip. I'd, I would rather do like Vlogmas Day 17, 18, 19, I guess, um, and edit it all at once than like do one and then upload it and take time away from my friends like at night to, to edit the vlog. That's I think what I'm gonna do. I'm very proud of myself for keeping up with Vlogmas. It's not like perfect, but this is more Vlogmas days than I've ever done in my youtube career thank you guys for watching i know people who are like nursing students or other chiropractic students or um physical therapy students or something like that so thank you for your support and um your comments and all that stuff over the years it always means a lot um yeah so i'm gonna end it off here like i said i will see you guys in Herman, missouri it's gonna be cute <laughs>